RIC is a three-day event and I'm very happy to be part of that. And uh, they wanted me to speak a few uh, words to the upcoming students, the small kids that uh, I spoke to. I just wanted to convey that what is happening around the industry, that industry is going through a revolution 4.0. And at the same time, uh, uh, India is aspiring to become a maybe a uh, middle-income country in a short uh, while. And then by 2047, we want to become a developing economy. Once you have this aspiration, you need energy. And that energy needs to come from uh, more docile sources. And maybe the participation of fossil fuel needs to reduce drastically. So that gives a lot of opportunity for the young kids to uh, revolve their education, acquisition of education around those two things. And uh, that will also give a lot of subjects for future research. So, hope uh, by attending this, these kids will get motivated and, and the researchers will also uh, would be in a position to demonstrate what they have been doing to the industry partners. That's what the meaning is and uh, I spoke on that line. All about RIC, if you ask, like, we would like to say that like, research and industrial conclave integration 2023. Uh, while I was uh, like uh, conven uh, con uh, selected as a convener, so first thing uh, um, in my mind that was like, <clears throat> how can we contribute uh, uh, towards northeastern region? Being uh, the student of IIT Guwahati, like the uh, one of the like uh, most uh, renowned institute in uh, India and internationally, so we can uh, like impact a lot uh, and in the society level. So that is why my first uh, focus was on like how can we uh, go towards sustainable things. So that is uh, why uh, we uh, brainstorm among our like teammates. Then we go, uh, got to uh, at the end that uh, green intelligence for sustainability, that, which is the theme of our like RIC. Then one of the thing was like, well, we were organizing hackathons and all, that is a part of the event. We uh, kept uh, one focus in our mind, that is like, how can, through these hackathons, how can we throw our like uh, problems of Northeast and Assam specifically and uh, nationwide. And then uh, we can seek the solutions from the different stakeholders for a uh, like sustainable society. So that was uh, one of the most uh, like uh, positive thing uh, that we like uh, uh, spread uh, through the uh, like RIC. And as a result of what uh, we had a drone show, and that is not only a drone show actually, uh, that is that is uh, that is a drone which is based uh, to uh, like a cargo drone, like and that is one of the like that is the single drone in in India uh, that is uh, uh, used for the purpose of like uh, carrying uh, like at max of 50 kg of like a payload. So this is the first one in India. And if you can see the demography of northeastern India, uh, like it is very much uh, uh, flood prone, then uh, natural uh, disaster prone area. So in that, in these regions, we need to fo uh, focus. Uh, at, at, we need to grow the attention of the public and uh, the students and every stakeholder that this kind of practices can be done. Uh, the study and the research and developments in these sectors can uh, motivate the students and can contribute in the society. So this is what uh, all about our research and industrial conclave and we are also giving overall platform to the students and youngsters so that whatever ideas in their um, uh, they are having in their mind they can give it a proper shape and they can secure their idea they can get funding and they can incubate it basically they can get everything their ideas will, will not be copied their ideas will not be duplicated without their uh, copyright permission so everything we are giving uh, just a platform Again, the self-help groups, the sustainable groups, we are giving them the platform so that they can uh, display their products and they can get featured. Because we are uh, inviting different distinguished speakers, industrially, so if their uh, products are enough scientific, uh, scientific importance and uh, from the point of view of society the demand, then they can get featured by uh, industrialists. That is another thing. Then uh, the industrialists and the government sectors and all other sectors, they can tie up uh, for like uh, whatever, suppose government want to implement a scheme, but they do not have a proper, uh, proper channel uh, through which they will uh, like uh, implement that scheme. So, but uh, student, uh, students who are doing research uh, in, in that specific area, so they can tie up with the, those students and their faculties. Uh, accordingly, in this way, research and industrial conclave, basically it is a practice of students and the collaboration with the uh, industry and other stakeholders.
Uh, yeah, as Imran uh, has already explained that the theme of our uh, RIC 2023, which is uh, sustainability for green intelligence. So green intelligence for sustainability. So based on that, uh, we have uh, conducted various events and like we have planned. So uh, we have conducted oral presentations, scientific events, uh, then the workshops, uh, which can be beneficial for all the students. So we have invited uh, different uh, students from different colleges, research scholars, and uh, we organized uh, Emprendimento, which is a startup pitching event. Along with that, we have also, uh, it's a very interesting event. Like, we have uh, organized some interactive session with uh, school students, like with the prominent figures such as uh, Dr. Rubel Maut, who is from the Harvard uh, Medical University. So, he, in, like, we, with the, so that we can motiv motivate them towards the uh, research. Right, like uh, more than 500 school students have visited out our campus, so uh, they uh, attended design workshops along with that they have visited our high-end labs, and apart from that, uh, participants from different universities also joined us for uh, workshops on AI and ML. Like that's a very basic workshops. So, so as uh, we know, this is the booming field of AI. So we all need to understand the importance and how we can implement it in our field so because of that we have focused on that and then the second workshop we have conducted that is MATLAB uh, workshop on MATLAB so for that also various participants have joined uh, so yeah that is the overall uh, journey like apart from that I guess Kalpana will be explaining like how we have conducted scientific events on As a co-convener of RIC, uh, like we have experienced different events. So one of the mega event was the scientific event. So under the scientific event, we have conducted various oral presentation, poster presentation, model presentation, three minute thesis pre presentations. Okay. And if you look uh, at the number of participants, so there are more than 500 plus participants who are there. And like for, if we consider like model, model presentation, so for model presentation, even school students were also, uh, they have also participated. So like it, it has, it has provided various platforms to like whatever like idea they are having in their mind they can uh, pitch that idea so like in that way we have conducted a scientific event so overall all, it was a very like nice experience to us to learn how to uh, connect with the people how to connect with the industry people as well this is a review paper जो मैंने स्टडी किया है पूरा हाइब्रिड व्हीकल के ऊपर में अभी तक क्या चल रहा है और ये क्या होता है आई एम डॉक्टर मिहिर मानना आई कंप्लीटेड माय पीएचडी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ प्रोफेसर अरुण चट्टोपाध्याय सर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम परसिंग माय रिसर्च एक्सटेंडिंग द मिस रिसर्च इन सेंटर फॉर नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ आई इट हियर व्हाट इज योर प्रेजेंटेशन I am presenting here the surface modification of perovskite nanocrystal and their application in uh, fabrication of white light. And this is my BTP project that is that is lo low cost assisted knee brace device for the osteoarthritis. So basically, first I will tell you guys about what is knee osteoarthritis. Basically, we like, as you can see my knee like it's a healthy knee right now. So after like after 40s what happened is our knees start degrading there is a substance that is as you can see here in the image also so there are substances uh, meniscus tissues and all cartilages which help helps in the smooth motion of knee so what happened as we get aged so this meniscus and starts degrading and there is no smooth motion so what we need is for like it's very difficult for the old age people to like to perform the basic activities like walking or like after sitting for a while so it is very difficult for them to stand so basically we are focusing on this thing only keep this sit for a long time so we are providing them with a device which they can use and which can provide them a rebound force and help them to stand like without any pain or so this is the <laughs> हे अनुष्ठान तो आई आम किसी अंक ला छोड़े आम स्कूल तेनेको आम विभिन्न स्कूल आसल गुवाहाटी विभिन्न स्कूल आई आज अवश्य इतने गोटे दिन तो थी भले लगे किसी नतुन नतुन कथा शिक्षा पाले आम ला छोड़े पाले गए जथेस भल लगे स्कूल स्कूल कई जन लाइन क्लास 
মানে চৌকি আঞ্চলিক উচ্চ মাধ্যমিক বিদ্যালয় বিদ্যালয়ের পর আছো মানে সাংসারী ওর আমার স্কুলের পর আমি পনেরোজন ল'রা ছিল লো আছি আজ এই অনুষ্ঠানটা লোক কোন ক্লাস এই আমার নবম শ্রেণীর আছিল অষ্টম আর নবম শ্রেণীর How was your experience here? It was really nice and we firstly got down from our bus and then we went to the auditorium there we had uh, as a topic given it is design so they taught us about designing and all as there are different kinds of designs so yeah they taught about them and then lastly we just finished our session uh, which was done by Buzul sir so he taught us many things. Mm-hmm.